I'm going to tell you about detection and attribution of climatic changes, but this time I will focus on human activity and the impact on recent climatic evolutions. Now, recent climatic evolutions are shown here. On the left-hand side graph, we see the evolution of uh, avril, average yearly temperatures, global temperatures in the period between 1850 and today. This temperature was measured with thermometers placed in the meteorologic stations on the continents or on boats or bowies. Now, we have observed that the temperature increased in the beginning of the 20th century, then it remained stable, it even decreased between 1940 and 1970, and then started increasing very quickly, and at the end of the period we see that the uh, warming trend has slowed down. 2014 is not shown on this picture, but it was the warmest year over the period starting in 1850. 19 of the last 20 years are are among the warmest years since 1850. On the right-hand side graph, we see the average per decade, and uh, the average temperature per decade has evolved over the last three decades. One may observe that each decade is warmer than the previous one starting in 1850. We must become aware of the fact that the climate is warmer. We also must understand that uh, some uh, the concentration of some gases especially co2 have also increased especially since the beginning or the mid 19th century here we have uh, the concentration of co2 in the atmosphere expressed in parts per million and a value of 300 means a concentration of 0 0.3 per thousand versus the air this is a very quick increase Yet, we may not deduce that there is a causal link between this uh, fact and the uh, temperature increase that we mentioned earlier. So if we want to understand the causal effect, we have to perform a digital simulation. And I'm not going to explain the models. I'll simply show you the results showing the impact of human activities on uh, the climate. This first graph shows the uh, average temperature evolution, global average uh, temperature evolution. The reference is the beginning of the uh, 19th century, and the curves show the result of two generations of models. In blue, the oldest generation. In red and orange, the more recent generations of climatic models. Among the last groups of simulations, some have been performed by uh, climatic uh, researchers uh, from different countries, the United States, China, and also there is one model used in France. One may observe that models are not in a position to reproduce the uh, temperature evolution over the last 50 years. However, in those simulations, only natural factors were considered. So solar variability and volcanic activity. Interestingly, we see the impact of the Pinatubo uh, volcano eruption, which led to a uh, cooling of the temperatures by a few degrees. And this can also be found in the observations and in the models. Now, in the simulation, if we take into consideration the greenhouse effect gas uh, concentration increase due to human activities and also the increase of particles, aerosols, present in the atmosphere due to human activities such as transport, the models can now simulate the uh, temperature evolution over the last 50 years. But this is not sufficient to uh, conclude that human activities play a role on a major role on the climate change. We need to perform more in-depth studies. One of these studies led to the calculation of uh, trend values for the period between 1850 and 2000 due to various factors that have an impact on climate evolution. Observation is in black. The climate has increased 0.6.7 degrees over the period. And it, for each factor having an impact on the climate evolution, we can understand and calculate the 
the uh, potential impact. Now, if we only look at human activities and tropic activities, we can uh, conclude that this will lead to an increase of 0 0.6, 0 0.7 degrees. Natural variability leads to a uh, global warming uh, of minor, included between minus uh, 0.1 and minus uh, 02. And climate variability also leads to the same result. It's then difficult to discriminate between uh, greenhouse uh, effect factors and aerosol particle factors, but the conclusion is that anthropic activities have played a major role. One of the main conclusions from the last IPCC report in uh, 2013, the Intergovernmental Panel, says that uh, the human influence on climatic uh, systems it is obvious and demonstrated, and it is likely 80% likelihood that human influence uh, is the main cause for global warming observed uh, since the mid 20th century. Other studies have been performed other than on the average temperature, global temperature, and it was possible to conclude also a signal of human activities uh, in oceanic temperatures in the reduction of the size of the uh, Arctic uh, ice cap, and if we consider extremes, the uh, extreme variation of temperature within a day. Research is still in progress. It's much more difficult now to detect an impact on extreme events, rare extreme events, but this is also the type of research that is in progress. We try to understand whether human activities have, may have changed the likelihood of uh, storms or typhoons such as the ones we have experienced over the last few years. The idea being to understand the impact of climate variability over a relatively short period of time, a decade, and the recent slowdown in the temperature increase, which is probably due to internal climatic variability, essentially.